Good morning, I am Kevin Price. Delighted to be with you. Going to spend some time talking to you about you and your business. You know, it's that, that time of the year, you know, uh, I know over the weekend, I'm sure a lot of people were watching uh, sports activity and, and uh, excited about the fact that we're entering into football season. And, and uh, I love the regular segments that I get to do with Chris Kidd, uh, with ChrisKidd.com, that's K-I-D-D. ChrisKid.com. Uh, we, we get to talk about sports. We talk about business. We talk about entertainment. But his forte is money and coaching people when it comes to their money and to take their financial situation to a better place and to the next level. And, and I love stories, particularly as it relates to store, sports, that helps convey that. And uh, today's segment, I bet, uh, I bet Chris Ken, you've been, been uh, geeking out all week over today's guests. <laughs> Yeah, we've we've got uh, some pretty cool stuff to talk about. Uh, are you ready to to get started, or why don't you tell them a little bit about what you do and then introduce our guests? Well, I'm a financial coach, and basically, I just you know do whatever I can to help people with uh, different financial situations, whether it's personal finance and uh, showing them how to get out of debt, how to manage their money better, um, you know, how to you know get into entrepreneurship and running their own company or, you know, just starting, even if it's something small, I think everybody needs some kind of business of their own. Um, and then the investment side, certainly understanding how investments work and not just, you know, handing your money over to somebody and saying, here, uh, you just do what you think is right. But how, you know, knowing how to understand stuff and, you know, see changes, especially, uh, anybody that's paid attention to the stock market over the last you know week or two is, uh, there's a lot of people who are very confused right now, and I want my clients to be able to understand, you know, how to look through stuff like that and not just, you know, either panic or say, well, I'll just write it out, and then you may run into another 2008 situation. And Yeah, yeah that's that could happen very easily. And I actually think that the... I think the fundamentals may be worse in some ways in 2008. I mean, I mean when you look – anyway, we could have a different discussion yeah, that's, about that. that. That's all a, that's all of those is point, <laughs> point to, the, to the need of a professional like you in their corner. Uh, tell us about who we have as a guest. And this guy, by the way, can speak a lot on the same subject. Yeah, my uh, guest today is uh, known for uh, his NBA career, but uh, he's also uh, you know, got, a, got an awesome book out, too that uh, we'll uh, talk about here in just a little bit, but he's also talking about uh, money. And one of the things um, that we want to talk about is, you know, what he's learned as far as his time in the NBA and seeing uh, mistakes or, as it says uh, in his book, the financial fouls of uh, professional athletes. So let's uh, go ahead and just uh, have him on. Hey, uh, O'Donnell Foyle, uh, welcome to The Price of Business. Thank you guys very much for having me. Real quickly, kind of tell us your elevator speech, if you will. Kind of give us your story. <laughs> I, I'm originally from the Caribbean, a uh, very small island, uh, about 500 people when I was growing up. Uh, I started uh, playing basketball uh, at the age of 15, and uh, before long, I was literally in a plane. Uh, to the United States on a basketball scholarship. I met uh, two wonderful uh, people, uh, uh, Professor Jay and Joan Mandel, who became my legal guardian. And uh, I came to the States and went to high school and eventually went to Colgate University and eventually was drafted by the Golden State Warriors uh, in 1997. Mm-hmm. Yeah, your your uh, high school that you went to was bigger than than uh, the the island you were growing up on. <laughs> Indeed, uh, my first uh, stop was in Philadelphia at Cardinal O'Hara, and uh, we had almost over two thousand, three thousand kids there, which was uh, remarkable, <laughs> unbelievable. I've not seen that many people <laughs> for a long time, much less uh, the whole idea of a traffic jam was. Uh, pretty extraordinary to me so it it took me a very long time to get uh, used to the fact that this is a this is a very very much bigger country than i was used to (laughs) yeah no question about it so how long did you play in professional sports uh 13 years uh played uh 10 years for golden state and uh at uh, about three years uh for um Orlando Magic, and then there was a ten-day um, stint in uh, Memphis, uh, uh, which was uh, which was awesome as well. <laughs> yeah, very good. Well, I've, I want to ask, and, and I don't know if uh, if it's it's probably not a, a great thing to ask. <laughs> you can make enemies. Is there a favorite team that you played for, or 
Maybe maybe I just, maybe I should ask which which owner was the best that or that you enjoyed. Or... <laughs> he doesn't seem to like either question. Uh, yeah, you know, basketball is, is, is pretty extraordinary. I mean, you you know, coming from where I did and having the opportunity to play in professional sports, uh, that in itself is amazing. Obviously, and owners uh, change over time. Uh, for me, I've really loved uh, my time in Golden State. I, I played there for 10 years. Uh, it was difficult. It was hard. You know, but now uh, I am back with the team, and uh, we are the uh, NBA champion, world champion. And uh, and I've also loved my time in, in Orlando. I really did. And and I know it's, uh, you know, because I think you get an opportunity to do different things. When I first got uh, went to Orlando, it was uh, literally to come in and work with Dwight and be a part of that that organization to help his transition in terms of his uh, his game development. So I I do see uh, roles differently, and I do see expectations uh, differently. But I, I really enjoyed my time in the league, um, uh, more so than um, any any particular location. But suddenly being back with the Golden State Warriors is a, is a very cool thing. You know, when you turn your career around and come back, and then you have a chance to be part of an extraordinary, uh, you know, journey and going from not winning – a championship since 1975 to uh, winning uh, the NBA championship this year with some of the greatest uh, young players in the league. So it's been clearly a very exciting uh, time in the in the Bay Area. Well, Donald, I want to give you a second uh, to talk a little bit about some of the things that you learned financially from like some of the mistakes that you've seen and then some of the things that you learned, uh, you know, to to do you know the right things with your own money. With regard to, I think, um, finances, uh, being in the in, in, in the league, I mean, you see very early that you know guys uh, have an extraordinary ability to make tremendous amount of money. I mean, that's part of what uh, I think. You know, the first thing you, you understand is that you know, for NBA players and for professional sports, we have figured out how to make money. That. Most Americans have been, you know, will try during the course of the career trying to figure out how to make, you know, enough money to retire at a decent age. And in, in the NBA, the question is, you are <laughs> gonna, you're gonna have that money. You're gonna have access to that money. The question becomes, uh, do you have it when you retire and when you right. leave the game? So I wanted really to to look at, uh, you know, that issue because I saw more and more, you know, players were getting into financial trouble. I. I did a, my master's uh, uh, in sports psychology, and I uh, I went back and looked at, uh, for my master's thesis, I looked at uh, 10 retired players, uh, 10 retired basketball players, and I talked to them about just some of the challenges they had and, you know, what were some of the difficult things that they weren't expecting in transition in their retirement. And a lot of them talk about you know, financial distress. I mean, so couple that with what you see every day in the papers and, and some of the things you hear about. I really wanted to dive into this issue and to figure out how to really help guys, you know, avoid some of those uh, challenges. Hey, I appreciate this very much. This is a great topic. Obviously, we need to do a multiple part on this uh, because this is huge. Yeah. Um, we have to call it over for this segment, though. Uh, foil f o y l e thirty one dot com. That's the website. Final thoughts with about a minute there, Chris Kidd. Um, well, I definitely say, like you said, there's uh, a lot more information, but uh, I would tell people to look up his book, uh, Winning the Money Game. Um, that's that's. I'm I'm actually looking forward to reading it myself, but I think they'll get a lot out of that. Yeah, I, and I want to probe uh, more deeply the next time we chat about why you you know felt the need to write this book. Obviously, there's a lot there, but from an anecdotal perspective, your own personal perspective. But time was short. This is a very timely topic. This isn't only good for uh, professional athletes. This book is good for anyone whose uh, type of field they're in might have a temporary short you know shelf life. A lot of money. But uh, yeah, of course, anyone in the oil industry could use this book. <laughs> yeah, any anybody that has money, yeah, a lot of money up front. A lot of times, that money is not guaranteed for a really, really long term. So you got to learn how to manage it uh, a little yeah. differently. Those huge annual contracts are designed to cover many years because uh, they're only going to be able to play for a few. Anyway, thanks so much for being with us. Great topic. Thanks for having me, guys. It was great. All right, when we come back, much more for you. Do want to remind you, best content here shows up over there at usdailyreview.com. And this is The Price of Business.